This is the first in a series of videos on how to unlock the hidden characters in Crossy Road Castle, a fun multiplayer game on Apple Arcade. We're starting this adventure on the second castle, the Construction Tower. The game is apparently endless, but each tower has a special character to unlock. This video shows how to unlock the schoolgirl character, and when I finally unlocked this character, I was quite surprised. I was expecting a burly dude with a construction hat. Anyway, the first thing to do is play through the levels. The levels with the green doors to the gem levels appear randomly. If you're not sure how many gems there are left to collect for a particular castle, there's usually a sign somewhere on the wall. The goal is to collect five green gems. On this particular run, we got lucky. Immediately on level two, there's a green door. And this part is important because beginners usually miss this secret door. Do you see it? After the explosion, you can slide down the falling beam and then take the alternate exit. If you're new to the game, and you're playing with other players, don't always run for the yellow door. If you don't see the other players following you, they might be heading towards a hidden exit. <laughs> That's why this tutorial is shown in single player mode. It can be impossible to get all the gems when you're on a bad team. On this bucket level, the trick is to blast from bucket to bucket. If you miss, then you can't reach the gem. This is one of the easier gems to get, as long as you don't miss. Timing is key. But if you're off with your aim a little bit, you can slightly steer the character to correct your trajectory. That's why I like to wait until the buckets are heading towards the edge. With a drift towards the corner, it's easier to catch the moving bucket. After the last bucket, blast to the gem. I already collected this one, so it doesn't show as a green gem. Previously collected gems are worth one token. A side note, I have no idea what this little guy is doing in there. Maybe he's an office worker, but there's no door. Is he trapped? You're not trapped though, just fall down the side to exit the level. But as you fall down, aim for the middle of the two columns of coins to collect them all. This next level also has a secret path. The little guy on top will trigger the explosives. When that happens, just fall to the right. There's a green door on the side. It's easy to collect the gem from this secret level. Just follow the fuses. The trick is to explode the bomb on the right. If you're patient and smart, you can't screw it up. But sometimes, the other bomb is rigged to explode too, so don't just stand around. And here's another side note. I sometimes feel bad for the bombs. Why do they have faces? And look at the expression just before they die. It's such a violent game. <laughs> anyway, the hot streak ended. It would be several levels before the next gem attempt. Basically, play through the game until you see the platforms moving like this. Sometimes they move up, sometimes they move down. The difficulty is random. But either way, this one is not too challenging. Just jump towards the green door at the top left. This secret level is like the classic arcade game Space Invaders, except birds are the enemies. Jump in the bucket and blast upwards to knock them out of the sky. However, for our gem quest, we're not really interested in the birds. Rather, it's the gem that floats in from the left side. There are two main challenges here. The first is getting to the gem before it leaves the area, and the other challenge is not falling down before getting the gem. This level is flexible. You can take multiple shots to get the gem and destroy all the birds. The fourth gem can be found from a level that looks like this. Basically, there are crumbling yellow platforms with roaming blue enemies. This level can be easy or somewhat difficult. This time, it's the latter. The extra challenge is jumping off the enemy to reach the platform with the green door. Sometimes, the level is easy and you can simply jump up. Either way, this is the alternate exit. It leads to a long conveyor belt with a speeding red car. The challenge of this hidden level is to reach the car before it drives off. The trick is to jump on the upper conveyor belts, and if you're having trouble timing the jumps, look for the signs with yellow arrows. What's nice about this level is that you don't need to be absolutely perfect. If you make a mistake, you still might be able to catch the car. For some of the gems, there could be alternate paths to their secret levels. As an example, this collapsing structure is an alternate route to the shooting buckets level. Just run and jump through it as fast as possible, and then jump to the green door on the upper left. <laughs> ah! 
Does this secret level look familiar? Even if you're not gem hunting, these secret levels are a nice way to advance through the game. While the secret levels are challenging, they're usually not deadly. Getting to the secret levels, that's a different story. To reach the most challenging of the five gems here, you'll likely have to fight the bird boss first. To defeat this enemy, just jump past the spike balls until the bird turns to shoot bombs at you. Bump into the bomb to reverse its direction, and then blast the bird. Do this three times to win. You'll likely have to fight the bird boss at least twice, if not much more, as the path to the last secret level usually appears much later in the run. On this particular run, it didn't appear until level 73. Collecting that last gem is a real challenge. Even just getting to the green door can be difficult. You'll be lifted up by a blue beam on a crane. Enemies will cross your path, distracting you from your goal. You don't need to jump on their heads to make it through, but you do need to avoid them. This can be challenging as there's a small window of opportunity to make the jump. Here, on the second attempt, I simply jumped over the enemy and then made a sideways jump to the red ledge on the left side. This is where the real challenge begins. Remember when I said secret levels are not deadly? Well, for this little blue character, this level often ends with its death. That's the trick to this level. The objective is to keep the enemy alive while lifting it up with the green propeller platform. It's not the smartest of life forms either. It simply walks back and forth. Step on the white button to raise the platform, and step off to lower the platform. This is not exactly precise controls, as the change in momentum is not quite instant. This level is nerve-wracking, as it takes a significant amount of effort to make it this far. After 70 levels, you might start getting tired. Failure here usually means repeating the run. But even with your full attention and the best of intentions, it's extremely difficult to prevent sudden death. Fortunately, this attempt was successful, and I was recording the action. I was a bit disappointed though, as this character does not match my style. I prefer a more royal lifestyle. If you're interested in how to unlock the prince, that's in the next video of this series. But if you really want to be annoying in your next multiplayer adventure, the schoolgirl is a fantastic choice. She just randomly babbles irritating words. Here I'm playing through a few levels so you can get an idea of what she sounds like. Like. Is it? But. As mentioned in the Apple Arcade review, I wasn't planning on playing this game to perfection. And yet, here I am, collecting all these gems. It's been fun though, so I'll probably keep going. Bothered. Do you know what I mean? Bye. <laughs> 